Hello everyone, this is Elmas Arthur 7 Productions here, and I saw that uh, on my post-processing test uh, video with like the no shadows and stuff that you guys kind of wanted me to make a post-processing tutorial. So let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, you of course need to open up Trains 19. Uh, I'll go to Train Settings, and then go to Dev, and then turn this on. Advanced Debug Tools, turn this on. It's already on, but turn it on. Uh, and then, ignore that, um, and then you gotta close it, close Trains19, open it back up, go to Developer up here, and you'll see that all of these options show up, including Post Processing Settings, when press Show, and then you'll see over here that there's a whole bunch of options. First, you need to go up here, and then p click Manual, and then just, uh, tick these settings, I usually do like, um, I usually put sun shafts up, that's what makes the sun like look so beautiful. I put this as box blur, put this as uh, rain hard, uh, strength. you could set the strength to like anything you want. I'm just going to go by the settings that I usually use. Uh, HSV, you can turn that on if you want, it's definitely optional. Uh, so I'm just going to turn the settings to, where, to what I set them as. Uh, the, the post processing is by Western Rails. Um, so, one, three, alright. Depth of field, turn that on if you want it to like blur and look really nice. Uh, blur sky, and then I usually just set those as default because that's what Western Rails does. And yeah, um, after you've set these settings, you're pretty much done. Now, do not close this. Do not close this. And you will have to do this every single time you want to use post-processing, which kind of sucks, but um, if you've used post-processing for like a small amount of time, then you'll eventually memorize your settings, and it won't be that big of a deal. Um, so let's go ahead and test it out here. I'm going to use the Season 1 Transitional Shots uh, route. So you see right here, it's like, a, it's very average looking, right? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and place an engine down. Hate that warning, by the way. Um, okay, let's go ahead and set down, say, uh, Farquhar Projects uh, Thomas. Quite, quite average looking. Uh, it still looks good, but uh, not as good as it could because um, you see right here. One second. Uh, I'll get a good angle here. Um, and plus, I have to put I have to put the frame rate uh, on the screen recorder low because my computer will make trains 19 uh, not be able to share, which is not good. But Anyways, you see, it looks average. Um, so now we need to go to our post-processing settings, tick one setting off, and then tick it back on. And as you can see, it changed. Oh, man, why don't you look at that? Now, I had to turn shadows off, which is no big deal, because it still looks really nice. Uh, so if you have to do the same thing, then... Uh, if you prefer the way this looks, then by all means, go ahead. So let's go ahead and uh, test out a scene here. Let's go ahead and make him shake. Um, then, of course, we... This is how you uh, make a scene, by the way. You just get into the cab and, uh, you know, do the funny. Alright, so uh, make a scene like this, I mean, like uh, the season one transition scene. So um, he's got the season one face. This looks pretty nice. Um, it blurs the background, even though it says it blurs the foreground. I mean, it technically blurs the foreground, but it uh, doesn't blur the face, so I wouldn't really count that. So now we're just going to move the eyes here, uh, test out a scene here. Here we go.
so yeah uh, that looks pretty nice if I say the least um, by the way this Thomas is amazing it has all the faces and they're really nice this is probably the best 3DO face I've ever seen so good job uh, Farquhar Projects for that and that pretty much wraps up the tutorial so uh, yes um, so if you want to continue using post-processing um, like if you want to like get off and then get back on I would recommend like keeping trains 19 open and keeping this open oh whoops uh, keeping this open um, so yeah I'll just minimize those two I guess uh, so yeah I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video hope this helped and um, I hope to see some of your content looking way better thank you guys very much for watching have a great day see you guys next time